Can you even think about visiting Finn after what's happened to Sinead? That is exactly why I went. Because I needed to know. Know what? Oh, why'd they do it? Men like Finn and Laurie. Oh, what use is that? It's not going to get Laurie locked up. Oh, I know. Okay, I was just trying to make sense of it all. And I cannot stand the way he's walking around like he's won. I really want to take him down a peg. Hey, don't even think about it, Diane. You're not going anywhere near him. It's too dangerous. It's not coming off. It's not coming off any bleach or something. Sinead, you can't do that. You'll end up stripping the whole door off. Well, why do you leave it there? Hey, pop a frame round it, make it a feature. Look, we'll go into town. Right, we'll get some paint and we'll cover it up. We're closing the restaurant for a few more days anyway, so... Yeah, cos no-one's turning up, right? Cos they all think I lied about the worst thing possible. Which is exactly why I need to get rid of this graffiti. Hey, Sinead. No! Hey, you see that? I mean, she's hanging on by a thread now. We need to be focusing on her, not worrying about if you're gonna run off and do something stupid. Promise me you won't go after him. OK, you're right. Don't make me call the police. You really think that you're untouchable, don't you? Cos no-one will stand up to you, yeah? Well, I'm here to show you that you're wrong, OK? Diane, Ben. Why don't we go in, guys? I am on your side. This is the time all the place. No, Nancy, please. Right, you know you. You're sick. And you're perverted. And it's only a matter of time before you slip up and show everyone what you really are. But you think you're special, don't you? Get out of here now, before I call the police. Boss of your school. Boss of your wife. You're king of your own little castle, you aren't you? <laughs> There's no one quite like Laurie Shelby. No, I'm flattered. But, uh, I really don't think it's appropriate you coming on to me after everything your daughter's done. I'm here to tell you that you are not special. And you're not complex. And you're not a puzzle the rest of us can't solve. I know exactly how men like you work. Is that right? Yeah. Because I raised one. <laughs> Nothing like your son. He's locked up, remember? She's guilty. I'm not, because I'm innocent. Did you know this was the classroom where Finn attacked his teacher? Do you know, I've spent years trying to figure out why. Why did my son do something so evil? Kept thinking, was it something that I did? Both of your children ending up in prison. Can't be a coincidence. Five years. I've been blaming myself for five years. And you know, yesterday, I finally realised that what Finn did has nothing to do with me. Finn raped John Paul because he was so weak and pathetic. He had to do something that extreme. <laughs> to feel like he was powerful. And you're exactly the same. You act like you are in control of everything. But none of it's real. And you know it. I have to listen to this. Ah. Oh, hitting a nerve, Alan. Let me do my time with your inane ramblings. So why are you running away? Tell yourself that all those teenagers out there listen to you because you're so impressive. But the truth is, they only listen to you because they have to. Deep down, you know your power comes from a job title, not from you. And that little niggle of doubt gets worse when you get home, doesn't it? Every time your wife doesn't follow your orders, every time she says no, you start to feel the cracks spreading through the lies you've told yourself. And you realise, maybe I'm not the one who's in charge here. 
Not Terry Vachel. You don't know me. Oh, I do now. <laughs> I think you feel like if you can't control your wife, if you can't convince her that you're this big, strong man, then maybe she'll see the real you. And if she sees it, everyone else will start to see it too. So you have to do something to force her into believing that you are the boss. Make sure she's too scared to see through the lies. So you rape her into submission. Do you think that makes you powerful? Do you think that makes you a man? You are so unimpressive and so inadequate. Using violence to dominate women is the only way you're ever gonna feel special. You are pathetic, Laurie, just like every other rapist.